So with all of those uh, facial expressions now grouped together, it'll be a lot easier to move it across to the main illustration. So with that done, I'll, I'll go up to the view menu, go down the list to fit art board in window, and I'll hover over that one. You can of course choose whichever one of the other facial expressions you wish to use. And I'll drag that across and over here like so. And then take um, one of the backpacks. So if I just move my layers panel to the side, we've got a green and we've got a red backpack. And if I left click on the, the one at the top, the red backpack, I can click and drag. And as I do, notice that it appears behind everything else on this artboard. Pick up my zoom tool and zoom in. Backpack two, which is the item that I've just moved, is lower down in the stack than the head, the body, all of the faces, all of the hair, and also all of the ears as well. And that's why when you move the backpack around, it appears behind everything else because it's lower down in the stack. You'll notice that the hair, when we move this around, it appears in front of the head, but not the ears. The ears are always in front. And the reason for that is that ear left and ear right are higher in the layer stack than all the other child layers like hair and face. The higher up it is, well, then the chances are that it will be more towards the front of the composition and the lower down that list of layers in the layer stack, the chances are it will be towards the back of the composition. Next, we'll take a look at how we can take the whole of this artwork and move it over to artboard number one.